Hello, I'm Cara Vorderman, and this is Perfect 10, a daily workout for the brain that takes just 10 minutes a day, but can last a lifetime. 10 questions, 10 points, all done in 10 minutes. I have 10 brand new questions for you today, all designed to educate, to entertain, and to irritate you, but I know they'll leave you feeling smarter too. And that's what Perfect 10 is all about. It's Thursday, so how are your scores looking for this week? If you've played along since Monday, you should have a score by now out of 30 points. So let us know in the comments how you're doing. We love genuinely seeing your scores. Do make sure you subscribe, very important to do that. You follow and you like to get the next episode automatically as soon as it drops. We're here Monday to Friday. And if you fancy going back to play our previous weeks, then by all means, be our guest. They're all there for whenever you have a spare 10 minutes to join us. Don't forget to head on over to at Perfect 10 Carol on social media for even more exclusive content and bonus questions dropping every single day. So join me and the rest of the Perfect 10 family over on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. We'd love to see you there. Now, before we begin today's Perfect 10 questions, let's solve yesterday's anagram. I asked you which English county is an anagram of tree moss. Did you get the answer? The answer is, in fact, the county I live in, Somerset, or Zomerset, as we say down there. Right, that was just for fun, but now you're playing for points. So can you beat the questions and get a perfect 10 today? Here they come. Question one, your starter for a perfect 10, as ever. And as today is National Scrabble Day, as I am sure you're all aware, we'll start with a question about everyone's favourite word game. Which two letters are worth the most points in a game of Scrabble? Hopefully that will get you a point on your scorecard straight out of the gate today. Question two is hearsay. You're about to hear some sounds which relate to a well-known phrase or saying. So what phrase is hidden in these sounds. I've got pollen to collect, then get back to the hive, but then more pollen to collect, then honey to make, then pollen to collect. It just doesn't stop. This job doesn't stop. Say what you hear and you can't go far wrong. Question three and it's time for Carol lateral thinking. Let's stick with words, shall we? Which of the following words doesn't belong in this group? Corset, sector, escort, and courts. Take a good look at those words and see if you can spot the imposter. Observational questions like this are really good, by the way, for putting your brain into the problem-solving mode. So study those words and mentally lock in an answer. Okay, when you're ready to move on, we'll move on to memory. Listen up and listen good. The question is to follow in our memory round. Hi mum, it's Jenna. Just letting you know that I'm staying at Amy's house tonight. We've got a history project to finish. Hi, this is Bob the Plumber. Uh, just calling you about that quote. Yeah, you're looking at about £350. Uh, if you'd like to discuss, call me back between 3 and 5pm today. Hello, it's Mary from next door. I'm just heading to the airport and I've left a key under the plant pot. It's the one on the right by the back door. I'll be back for my holiday on Thursday if you don't mind watering the plants for me. Thanks so much. Adios. Well, I hope you were listening to that clip because here comes your question four. On which day does Mary from next door return from her holiday? Well, it's a simple enough question, but can you remember the answer? As always, I'll give you the answers after today's final question. Questions five, six, and seven are all part of the same family, the three Fs, the frivolous, familiar, and fun set of questions, testing your knowledge of the everyday. Here is question five. Which online retailer started life under the name As Seen on Screen? Moving on to question six. What mammal was the first to be cloned from an adult cell? This was groundbreaking news when it was announced in 1997, making an instant celebrity of this particular mammal. But what kind of animal was it? Question seven and a little slice of TV gold. I have a cunning plan is a catchphrase from which TV sitcom? 
You'll need your word head on for this next question as it's time for one in one out. Which letter can you change in the word dairy, D-A-I-R-Y, to make a type of flower? Is that perfect 10 score heading your way, by the way? Because question nine definitely is. Time for, I know I know this, because I'm sure you've got the answer in that brain of yours somewhere, so try this. Which word literally means empty orchestra in Japanese? Now think what an empty orchestra might be and which common word that we all know it might be alluding to. The final question of the day. Well done, everyone. As always, it's our daily riddle. George, Helen and Steve are drinking coffee. Adam, Carl and Anne are drinking tea. Using logic, is Ellie drinking coffee or tea? This is one to really make you tear your hair out, but see if you can see any patterns in those names. And I'm sure you can figure out the answer. You can do this and you will feel great when you get a point for it, I promise. And there you have it. Another perfect 10 questions. Well done, everybody. Don't forget to like and to subscribe so you don't miss tomorrow's questions. They'll be downloaded automatically when you subscribe. And if you want to entertain, educate and irritate me, send your own puzzles to at Perfect 10 Carol. We love hearing from you and receiving all your videos and pictures, lots coming in. So please get in touch and we'll post all our favourites on our socials. 10 questions, 10 points, 10 minutes, but did you score a perfect 10 today? Here's where you find out. Good luck. Here come the answers. Question one, I started with the question, which two letters are worth the most points in a game of Scrabble? The answers I was looking for were Q and Z, which are both worth 10 points in a game of Scrabble. Question two was hearsay. I asked you what phrase was hidden in these sounds. I've got pollen to collect, then get back to the hive, then more pollen to collect, then honey to make, then pollen to collect. It just doesn't stop. This job doesn't stop. The answer was Busy Bee. Question three, carolateral thinking and a word puzzle. Which of the following words doesn't belong in this group? Corset, sector, escort and courts. And the odd one out is courts. Why? Well, because the other four words are all anagrams of each other. Question four was our memory question and we were catching up on some answer phone messages. My question was, on which day does Mary from next door return from her holiday? Did you remember? The answer was Thursday. Hope she had a nice holiday. Into our run of three frivolous, familiar and fun questions now. Question five was, which online retailer started life under the name As Seen On Screen? Well, As Seen On Screen is now known as ASOS, A-S-O-S. But the company originally focused on selling iconic looks from Hollywood films and TV shows, hence the name As Seen On Screen. Question six, what mammal was the first to be cloned from an adult cell? Was, of course, Dolly the sheep. Dolly was named after famous country singer Dolly Parton. Question seven, I have a cunning plan, is a catchphrase from which TV sitcom? And the answer is Blackadder. The phrase, of course, was made famous by the character Baldrick, played by Sir Tony Robinson. Question eight was one in, one out. Which letter can you change in the word dairy to make a type of flower? Quite easy one, I think. Change the letter R for the letter S to get the word daisy, D-A-I-S-Y. Question nine was, I know I know this, but did you? I asked, which word literally means empty orchestra in Japanese? And the answer is karaoke. The Guinness World Record for the longest karaoke marathon by an individual lasted 101 hours, 59 minutes and 15 seconds. Singer Leonardo Palverelli broke the record in Pesaro, Italy in September 2011. So let me know what your favourite karaoke songs are and see if you can guess mine (laughs) on Instagram and Facebook. And finally, question 10, our daily riddle. George, Helen and Steve are drinking coffee. Adam, Carl and Anne are drinking tea. Using logic, is Ellie drinking coffee or tea? 
Ellie is drinking coffee. The letter E appears twice in her name, Ellie, E-L-L-I-E, as it does in the names of the others who are drinking coffee. Those drinking tea have the vowel A in their name. That was it. Ellie was drinking coffee. So how did you do? Did you score a perfect 10 today? If not, don't worry, there's always another chance tomorrow. Every day spent with the Perfect 10 family is a day that you've given your mind a good old workout. Never forget that. Let us know how you did though. Send us your scores. We love seeing how everyone is doing. And come and be a part of the family by following us on at Perfect 10 Carol on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. You've got loads of daily content over there to keep your brain ticking over between episodes. Join us. I'll be back tomorrow with 10 more questions, but before I say goodbye, I'll leave you with today's anagram. Which musical instrument is an anagram of Rob A. Minute? R-O-B, Rob A, and Minute, M-I-N-U-T-E. Find out the answer to that anagram tomorrow when it's a whole new day of questions, riddles, and puzzles. I'm Carol Vorderman. That was my perfect 10. I hope you have a perfect day. Hold up. 